Hi everyone, my name is Anna Gurna and today I'm going to talk to you about solfege and what a scary word that is to hear as an adult. But for children, it's exciting, it's foreign, and it's even a little fun to say. So just like learning the alphabet or your numbers, learning solfege at an early age can really make a great, wonderful first step into the music classroom. So ask yourself, why is this skill so important to have at an early age? Well, visually, you can see where your hand signs are going to go. Orally, we can understand that where do, do, re, mi is on the scale, we can visualize it. And physically, adding any kind of other examples of body solfege works great because not only is it putting it visually orally, now we've got it physically. So one of the great ways to do this is through a concept called solfege street. And here you can see um, that we have our street from do to t. And of course, you'd have to introduce them to the concept of the a repeating alphabet, but that's later on in life. Give them the idea of Solfege Street. You can use this pre-K through 12, implementing the idea of a low visual, of high to low visually, orally, and physically. Um, it will help the students learn other words. Um, don't be afraid to use the big words like, this is an interval, this is a second or a third or a perfect fourth. Introduce them with the idea of what an octave is, whole steps, half steps. They will absolutely remember. So one thing that you can remember, take away from this, all students pre-K through 12 can use solfege in the music classroom every day. Introduce it now, just like we do with our numbers, just like we do with uh, the idea of the alphabet. Getting it there and repeating it in constant repetition is what they need. Uh, make sure that you have several ideas, visually, orally, um, physically, because that's how we remember. And don't be afraid to use the big words. Um, they remember it. You'd be surprised at what a kindergarten can tell you about, a kindergartner can tell you about um, solfege and an interval and what a perfect fourth or an octave is. Again, my name is Anna Gurna. I teach fifth general music and sixth grade choir at North Park Elementary and Guyman Public Schools. Feel free to contact me for any questions that you need. Thank you.